I am backstage at the Royal Academy of Arts where the London College of Fashion Centenary graduates are about to show off their collection to a VIP audience. Mohammed Al Fayed and his daughters, designers Betty Jackson and Catherine Hamnett, and head of Marks and Spencer Stuart Rose are amongst the invited guests. Well, we were privileged to a sneak preview earlier on, and I got to speak to a couple of graduates. Only 28 out of 190 graduate students were chosen to show off their collection at this special catwalk show. For these lucky few, it's their chance to display their skills and innovation to family and friends, but more importantly, industry scouts and the press. Putting the finishing touches on his creations is one of these fortunate students, William Tempest. I chose um, the London College of Fashion because I thought it would give a good mix of kind of commercial and creative because I think as you graduate as a designer I think it's quite difficult to get a job so if, with that commercial aspect I think it, it really gives you a good chance. My final collection is based on film noir and so I was sort of looking at um, black and white movies from the 1940s um, and looking at actresses such as um, Rita Hayworth and Catherine Hepburn and um, so it's all kind of quite sinister and quite glamorous at the same time really. It was the prestigious reputation of the London College of Fashion that made Amy Keynes want to study there. She has not looked back. I think once you get out there, you know, you are on your own, but they do, they do their best to kind of set you up, even just giving you contacts and even things like this show, like the publicity and things, it is really good, like they do, they do try and push you as much as you can. Amy and the others are hoping to follow in the footsteps of distinguished alumni such as shoe designers Jimmy Chu and L.K. Bennett. The college strives on pushing the boundaries of fashion education, but today the clothes must do the talking. Well, with me now is the head of the college, Dr. Francis Corner, and international designer Giles Deacon. Francis, what has made the college so effective in producing students that are prepared for the career in fashion? Well, the college has been going for 100 years, and it was set up to work very closely with industry, and it's really continued that tradition to today, and I think that's one of the things that we're so successful at. Now, we've just been announced that Giles Deacon, you'll be joining the college as a designer in residence. Indeed. What does that mean to you and to the students? Well, it's really exciting because it means that I can um, bring my knowledge from the industry and outside world and and hopefully bring some useful in-part knowledge to them. Well, congratulations on your residency you. and more important, congratulations on your centenary. Back to you, Riz.